Actually, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to um, pull over here and show you guys a little bit of a little bit of edible bush food because this is something that could possibly one day save your life if you're stuck out here in the bush. You just never ever know. But up here is probably a stra one of Australia's most icon iconic trees. That was so much harder than I ever thought it would be. Barista sessions. Oh. You chewing them? Do your thing, baby. Drone fishing is um. Oh no 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 no! It's going in. No! What's going on, doggies? Welcome back to another video. Woo! It's cold. Wait, today is going to be super fun. Woo! All right, so we're going to use this drone and this massive chunk of bait to catch a massive fish. Well, that's the goal anyway. Right now, it is exactly six degrees. That's what the truth is telling me. We have a lot of things to do this morning before that sun comes right up. So, um, woo! Let's get a big dirty bait on this drone, send it all the way out there and um, see how we go. Okay, now, I am no expert at drone fishing, but it cannot be too hard, right? We've done it once on this channel and um, we got smoked by sharks if you guys watched that episode. So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna be chasing a big, beautiful, delicious fish. So the aim of the game is to get this fish up onto this beach start a fire or cook him up cook him up on the tree from the gas cooker all i want to do is cook some fresh fish in the bush because that is the best thing you can possibly ever do in life in my opinion so we've got the rod set up we've got two big dirty chunks of bait on the rod we've got the drone we haven't even had a coffee yet so um baits out then we start a barista session so let's see if i can hook this bait up to this drone and we'll um we'll get it out there All right, we have takeoff. We are now going out with the bait. I'm going to fly out to 300 meters, drop it off, and see how we go. <laughs> oh, this is so funny! Look at this, man. I'm going to try to do like a screen recording so you guys can see what's going on here. Oh, there we go. All right, there's our bait. We are sitting at currently 160 meters. We're going to go to 300 or 250. <laughs> oh, this is so sick. Can't feel my fingers, but it's all good. While that drone's going out, I'm out here freezing my absolute tits off, setting absolute trends. I've got socks and bloody slippers on. This is what it's all about. Alright, we're still going out. 190. Jesus, some crazy stuff's going on right now with the drone. Do we drop it here? 256. I'm gonna drop it. Let's go. One, two, three, bombs away. Bang! <laughs> Alright! Let's get that drone home. Okay, now that our baits are in the water, we can start a coffee session and um, just sit back and watch this rod. It is gonna be a very, very interesting bloody morning, that's for sure. What is happening right now? I, I don't know what's going on with the drone. I just put the drone back up. I wanted to like get some drone footage while it was like a beautiful sky. And my drone is stuck at 450 meters out to sea and I can't do anything about it. Like I can't move, man. It's beeping. I don't know what's going on. 
I can't bring it, I literally can't bring my drone home. It's sitting at a distance of 450 meters and I can't fly. I'm stuck here. I don't know what's happening right now, but we're gonna lose the drone. There's no way I can get the drone back in time. Come on! It's literally stuck out there. Now it's stuck at 418 meters. No, man! We're gonna lose the drone in the ocean. All right, we have some serious problems right now. I have 19% battery. The drone is stuck at 433 meters. I cannot move the drone. I'm trying to bring it home. I'm trying to do everything. It's saying high wind. It's saying there's an interference out there. There's obstacles in its way when it's in the middle of the bloody ocean. So I've got the um, screen recorder on and you guys are about to witness the drone falling into the ocean. There goes that uh, drone fishing plans. Stuff this man, I'm buying a tinio. It's gonna go, she's gonna go. Drone fishing, never again. <laughs> I'm buying a boat, man. I can't fly, I can't do anything, I've got no control. Oh, it's actually coming home. Are you kidding me? It's moving! Oh my god, I got 7% battery. Go, 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 go. It's moving. Oh, if we get this home, this isn't a miracle. I'm not bullshitting right now. I thought I was gonna lose the drone. Come on, come on, come on. This is a... Oh, we're gonna get it home. 5% battery. What's happening? What's happening? Oh, we're gonna get it. We've got it, we've got it. <gasps> you are actually joking. No, 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 don't stop. 1% battery! No! No! It's right there! No! It's right there! It's right... Are you kidding me, dude? It was literally 10 meters from the beach and it just started spinning like this and fell into the water. <laughs> well, there you go. This is how close we were to having the drone back. That's where the drone is in the water there. This is where I'm sitting here. You've got to be actually joking. I need to make a coffee. Okay, I can't feel my fingers still. We have no drone, the drone's literally in the water. I just checked the screen recording on my phone and um, we, it wasn't recording when the drone crashed, but I think we recorded the other one, so I don't know. I'll have a look at that later on. But anyway, we are down a drone. I'm gonna make a coffee because it's absolutely bloody freezing right now. Oh. We've got this new coffee to try out. So here we go, look at this. Dog and gun coffee. We're gonna step up the barista game and um, hopefully, look, you can't really get sad at losing the drone because it's just part of bloody flying drones, isn't it? I've had that drone for like four years and it's been crashed into trees. It's been smashed into the side of my car. I have smashed it into a cave. It's been through hell. So it was about time we lost it, but ah, anyway. What can you do? You can't do anything. Life goes on. Let's make a coffee and um, all we can do now is rely on those two bits of bait that we've got out there. Once I bring that in, we can't do drone fishing anymore. So we'll see what else we can do today. But have a look at this. Have a look at these coffee pods. They're pretty killer. Pretty, in pretty interested to taste this coffee. First time.
Well, what a bloody way to start the day, hey? Just put the drone in the ocean. I was looking down there, like thinking to myself, like, should we like try to go and swim for it? But it's like a massive, like a massive drop off there and the water is like mud. It's so seaweedy on the shore. So we've currently got a bait sitting at 350 meters out there in the middle of the ocean. And um, fingers crossed, we get a big fish on that bait. And if we don't, we're gonna have to jump in the car and go fish somewhere else because the challenge still stands. All we need to do is get a fish and eat it for lunch, dinner, or breakfast. So um, that's the go. Dude, that is a big dog, man. There's a big dog down there. Anyway, here we go. Barista sessions. Oh yeah. All right, now there's a massive dog down here. You wouldn't even believe this right now. Okay, so I just lost the drone about four or five minutes ago and I'm like, all right, I lost the drone. The day can't get any worse, whatever. We'll just punch on. Just having here, sipping my coffee. The rod tip starts going da 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 And I'm like, oh, we, we might have a little fish interested in the baits out there. I look down and there's a seagull tangled up in the fishing line. You have got to be kidding me, man. Just out there, about pretty much the same distance we lost the drone in, there's a seagull and the poor little thing is tangled up in the fishing line. That hasn't happened to me in like, I don't know, 10 years, where you got a seagull tangled up in your fishing line. And for some reason, we just lost the drone. Now we've got a seagull tangled up in the line. So we're gonna have to do a seagull recovery mission. Let this little fella go because He's seriously sitting there tangled up in my fishing line right now. Why? 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 Look at the size of this dog! Oi, do not touch that seagull. Oi! No! I know, I know. It's alright, mate. Come on. It's okay. Oh my god, now I've got a dog tangled in the f line. Out of here, mate, come on. Okay, this is an absolutely bloody crazy morning. I've lost the drone, like I said. I'm rescuing a seagull right now as we speak. I've just got all the cloth over its head so it doesn't freak out too much, but it's only got the line around its foot, so very easy to untie him and let him go um, a dog that massive dog it's like the size of a bear tried to eat the bloody seagull before then the dog come over here and got tangled up in the line as well what is going on today hey mate it's all right it's all right buddy it's all right mate I'm trying to save you it's all good it's okay there he is, look at that, a beautiful little seagull. Ow, 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 <laughs> Wow, I'm getting attacked by a seagull. There he is, beautiful little creature. Look, I love you, mate, I really do. I love animals and I love seagulls. So you be free, here, mate. You go with your friends, off he goes. He's healthy. Oh, what a bloody morning, man. <laughs> What is going on today, man? It's only eight o'clock in the morning. I've lost the drone. I caught a seagull. I got attacked by a seagull. A dog the size of a bloody bear tried to eat the seagull. Then it got tangled up in the line. Right, I'm done. I am done here. I'm gonna pack up all of my gear. We're gonna jump in the big troopy rig <laughs> and we're gonna go and try to um, complete today's challenge. Go put some fish on a fire and have a little bit of a feed. <sighs> Well, there we go. I'm packing up the drone fishing gear. I'm never drone fishing again. It is so, yeah, whatever. We'll just leave it at that. I'm not gonna drone fish ever again. So, this is the plan right now. I'm gonna put this big rod away. We're gonna get the noodle rod out. We're gonna go get a feed of, a feed of fish on the noodle rod, hopefully, if everything goes to plan, which right now nothing's gone to plan, but we'll see how we go. Then, I'm gonna jump onto Facebook. I'm gonna jump onto um, Gumtree. 
we are going to go and buy a boat today. That's what we're doing. That is the new, that's the new plan. Catch a couple of fish on the um, noodle rod, get some breakfast, jump on my phone, find a boat. We're going to go buy a boat because if I had a boat, I would never have to use the drone for fishing. So that's the new plan. We're going to go buy a boat today if we find one. Ooh. All right, that's it. We're done. I am going to get a couple of fish on the noodle rod and then um, we're going to go buy a boat. We're going to go jump onto uh, somewhere, Facebook, Gumtree, one of those bloody apps. We're going to find a little tinny and um, hopefully we can go pick it up today because you know what? Drone fishing sucks. <laughs> Anyway, I've got another drone at home, but that was the suicide drone. It is no longer. So um, what we're going to do now is put a big bend in the noodle rod and hopefully have a little bit of breakfast and then we'll continue this. This is actually going to turn into a boat buying journey now. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys at the other side when we're flicking lures on the noodle rod. Here we go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Have a look at this. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna um, pull over here and show you guys a little bit of a little bit of edible bush food because this is something that could possibly one day save your life if you're stuck out here in the bush. You just never ever know. But up here is probably a str one of Australia's most icon iconic trees. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the black boy or the grass tree. And up here, there is a field of them. There's hundreds of them. So um, I'm going to go show you a couple of things that I learned from an indigenous guy about seven or eight years ago. He taught me a couple of things about this tree. I think there's a lot of, a lot of things. If you guys don't know what it looks like, this here is a grass tree, also known as a black boy. And um, there's a couple of very interesting things about this tree which could possibly save your life if you are stuck out here for some reason in the bush. So not only are these grass trees a gnarly looking tree, they're actually super useful if you know what to do with them. So I will teach you guys what I got taught a couple of years back. I love this kind of stuff. It just, I don't know, there's something about this living off of the land, learning about trees. If you ever get stuck, it just, it's so good. So first things first, this big bad boy here. So that right there is a grass tree. These two are grass trees. Obviously this is its flower. So this thing here, flowers at certain times of year you can see that a fire has been through here at some point in time these have all been burnt which is pretty common here in australia but there's a couple of things that you can do with this the first thing and probably the best thing is to start a fire with this wood here if we walk around here on the ground there's going to be a couple that have fallen off or snapped off over the time exactly like this one here this wood here at the end is ideal for starting fires like to make a bow drill something like that it's a beautiful straight piece of wood it's a dry soft wood so that's really good for starting like a fire if you need to make a bow drill and then if we can find a juvenile one somewhere like this no nah, maybe that one's a little bit too juvenile if you can find a little juvenile tree like this is perfect this one what you can do is you want to find the center of the tree right so you find the center of these little these little things you want to get about a handful Give it a good pull and you're going to get these white, beautiful white ends. Now that is edible up to about here. So you can eat all of that right there. So there is absolutely no shortage of this here if you are stuck in the bush. Just dust off the sand. This is going to contain carbohydrates, sugars, all of those things that keep you, that'll keep you going if you were stuck or lost out here in the bush. You can eat the whole entire part until it starts turning yellow. So it's sort of just like um, chewing on anything. Just take a bite. First thing that you notice is the juices, juices coming out of it. So it's a little bit sweet. It doesn't taste like too much. There's a little bit of sweetness to it. Um, you can fully chew it, swallow it, eat it all the way up to here if you like. You can chew it. You can suck on it. And I'm getting a lot of moisture out of that. So if you were stuck out here with absolutely no water, you'd walk around, you'd pluck them out of the ground, chew on them, suck on them. That's given me a lot of moisture sucking them. All right, one more good thing that you can do with these trees, which is pretty bloody epic. So 
So we'll use this one here for an example. What you can also do here is pick up this, collect this sap. See that there, that sap. So obviously over the times, this sap has formed on this tree. You can see it all there. We'll just grab this little bit here so you can have a look. It's nice and shiny inside. You can see that that's a form of sap. So what you would do is collect this in a tin as much as you need. You'd put it over a fire. This would melt down into a liquid form. After that melts down into a liquid form, you'd come and scrape a little bit of this ash off of this tree. You'd mix it in with the liquid that that, that, that provides. Then you walk through the bush here and there is absolutely no shortage of kangaroo shit and rabbit shit. So you'd pick up the kangaroo shit and rabbit shit. You'd mix it all up together in a tin. You can bodge up, you can fix holes in water bottles. I am thinking the, the, like the indigenous people back in the day, they used to use this as like a form of connecting their spearheads onto their spears and their arrows. Super, super strong material. One day we'll do that in a video because um, I've actually made a spear doing that and I've still got it today. So pretty interesting little way to do it. So the reason that you use the kangaroo shit or the rabbit shit in doing that if you think about it, a kangaroo or a rabbit, they just walk around eating grass, eating weeds all day. They're chewing it up, they're mashing it up, they digest it, they shit it out on the ground. Those little bits of shit on the ground are going to be full of tiny little minute pieces of um, grass, trees, sticks. That's what's going to help hold that glue together. So um, it's actually a pretty bloody good thing to know. And there you go. There's your little bit of bush food for the day. I think everybody should know something about the bush like this because Look, let's be honest, it's a lot more manly than some bloke in a club with gel in his hair standing there holding a margarita, isn't it? For sure. <laughs> Alright, let's go get a fish, let's go cook some breakfast, and we'll see where this day takes us. Alright, we have made it on location. If you guys know where we are, you know where we are. We've been here before, caught a couple of fish. The way that the luck is going today, we're probably going to get skunked, but we'll give it an hour. If we don't get any fish, we're going to go find some phone reception. We're going to go call someone and buy a boat. But first we need food, so a um, couple of flicks of the noodle rod. We'll be here for an hour. If we don't get anything, we'll boost out of here and um, see where they take takes us. All right, here it is. The noodle rod is all set up. Let's go and see if we can get some breakfast very quickly before we go shopping. Hoi! Ha! Hoi! Oh! That's a fish right on the beach. Get up here. Mwah. Let's go. We've got one fish on the board. Two or three more and that's breakfast sorted. Come on, I can see him out there. Come on, you little fella. Just eat it. Oh, they're there, they're there. Oh, come on. They're behind it. They're attacking it. There we go, that's a fish. That is a fish. Now we've got to get it up without losing it. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, noodle rod. Do your thing, baby. Woo. There's another beautiful one. That's what I'm talking about. I can see the fish right there at the back of that foamy water there. I'm going to cast that lure past them. All right, come on, let's go. Coming through the pack of fish now-ish. All right, come on, there we go, there we go. One behind it. Oh, look at them all. Come on, eat it. Yes, there he is. That's a fish. All right. How good's that? You can actually see them out there, cast lures at them, and bang, you get on. Oh, this is a good little fish. Come on, mate, get up here. There we go. That's it, that's all we need for breakfast. Mission complete. <laughs> Just like that. We've got four beautiful fish for breakfast. Once again on the noodle doodle, look at that. Four lovely fish. We're going to cook them up right now and then um, we'll continue this mission. That was easy. So you don't need a bloody drone to catch fish. But the fish we were going for with the drone are much bigger than these boys. But hey, we got a little bit of breakfast. That's all I wanted to do today. 
How's that for a little bit of breakfast for the morning? We've got four of these fish in probably no more than 10 to 15 minutes. Like literally looking at the fish swimming around out there, just casting that tiny little lure in front of them. Tick, 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 boom. I think it took four or five casts to get the first fish. So pretty bloody good. I'm just gonna knock the fillets off these fish. I'm not gonna cook them whole this time. We'll fillet them and um, we'll maybe see what I've got in the car. Maybe crackers or a bread roll or I don't know, a little bit of breakfast. That was epic, but literally sight casting these fish. Woo -hoo -hoo. Breakfast is just about served. Have a look at this man. There's those fish fillets looking absolutely bloody beautiful. Maybe another, I oh know they're ready to turn. Oh, that's gonna, they're gonna be incredibly good. How good is it? You can literally catch a fish right there, cook a fish right there, and that is breakfast sorted. Absolutely bloody love it. But it was even better that you can see the fish in the water. Like I was seeing those fish, casting a lure at them, bang, hooking it up. But that wouldn't have been possible without a good pair of polarized sunnies. And I noticed in the last couple of videos, people are asking what sunnies I wear. So if you guys, for you guys, I'll just leave a link in the description of this video of these exact sunnies. So these sunnies are from Otis and they are absolutely bloody ball terror sunglasses. The polarization on these things are sick. Actually, I'll show you. So you can see this little gutter here. It's like really glary from the sun. It's a nice clear day. The glare's all out. You bang these polarized sunnies on. Oosh! And that cuts so much glare out of the water. You can see now the difference from this little pool here. You bang the sunnies on. You can see in the water so much better. These are absolutely bloody sick sunnies. Super quality glass lenses. Really, really bloody hard to scratch. They're actually mineral glass lenses. So they're nearly impossible to scratch. I love wearing these. These are the summer of 67. Epic sunnies. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to grab some. Madness. Anyway, it should be just about bloody breakfast time because this is looking and smelling absolutely bloody amazing. Look at that. We got fresh avocado, a couple of crackers, fish fillets, getting boost straight on the crackers. That is a breakfast, man. Look at that. You kidding? Well, I'm gonna enjoy this breakfast. It's been a long, stressful morning. Not really, it's been an epic morning. We lost a drone, we caught a seagull, we caught a couple of fish, and uh, this video has only just begun. So I'm gonna eat this beautiful little bit of breakfast that we've made here, four wheel drive out of here, go find reception, and um, Honestly, like I'm not even joking, I am gonna go look for a boat today. So stay tuned while I eat my breakfast. I'll see you guys up wherever we get some phone reception. Ow! Well, that lunch slash breakfast was absolutely bloody beautiful. So we're about halfway out of this track now and um, let's talk boats while I'm driving because the boat that I'm looking for, it's not a massive, massively big boat. I don't want a big boat. I don't need a big boat. They're actually, I had a, when I was back in, when I, before I went to Bali, I had another boat. That was an 18 foot Santa console and it was a good boat. It was a sick boat, but it was too big for what I needed it for. Like I couldn't go up the little creeks. I couldn't do a lot of things. So today we're going to be looking for like a little tinny, something like 375, 385, probably no bigger than four meters. If it's any bigger than four meters, it's not really going to suit what I need. So we're just looking for a little boat. 25 to a 30 horsepower on the back and um, oh, it's going to change the absolute game having a tinny and the reason that I want to have a smaller boat is I can bring it to places like this I can drive it along the beach I can drag it up and down beach launching it all by myself and um, that's the whole reason why I want a smaller boat you can still do so much in a small boat so that's the plan hopefully there's something available today because that drone absolutely just clicked clicked something in my brain i was like nah i'm gonna go get a little tinny so let's go and find a little tinny it's go it's gonna be an absolute game changer first we need to get off this bumpy ass track Ooh. 
Come on, big rig. There you go, mate. I told you in this episode we were gonna go and buy a boat and um We bought a boat man! Have a look at this thing! This thing is an absolute bloody weapon. Alright, so it's not the same day, it's the day after that we lost the drone. The seagull we caught a seagull, the seagull nearly got eaten by a dog. It is the day after that day. So obviously yesterday we lost the bloody drone. And um, that just ticked something in my brain. I was like, man, I've been thinking about getting a tinny for a bloody long time. So welcome to the brand new fa Field Day family member. Look at this thing, man. Absolute weapon. It is exactly the boat I've been looking for. It's a little bit bigger than what I wanted. So this is a four and a half meter tinny. I just went out and bought a brand new boat because literally I was looking and um, the second hand ones were just junk, so. I've got a boat, man. This is the first time it has ever been sitting in the water. I've got a lot of things to do to it. I want to put a sander on it, fishing rod holders on it. There's a whole lot of stuff we need to do to turn this into the big fishing machine, but it is absolutely epic. Brand new four stroke engine on the back. Ooh, I am absolutely fizzing right now, but there is something that's a little bit more exciting and it's a little bit more exciting than the boat. And um, I'm going to show you guys that right now. Oh, this thing is so good. Oh, I am so pumped about this boat. But what I'm more pumped about is this, what I've got in my hand here. We have brand new shirts dropping, or they've actually already dropped on the online shop. So by the time you're watching this, these shirts will actually be available. So we have them. These are epic. This is called the Local Pride Tee. We've got, what else we got here? We've got a couple of shirts dropping on the online shop. This is the one and only dedicated Noodle Rod Sessions t-shirt. It is live right now at fieldayshop.com. But the most exciting thing is this. Look how cute this is, man. The kids' range of shirts are finally up on the online shop. So both in each color, both in each design. These little kids' shirts, the little mini doggy shirts are finally available online right now. So Kids, if you're watching this, start screaming at your mum and dad that you want one of these shirts because they are going to go out of the door quick. There's not many, but um, there you go, guys. The shirts, they are available. Brand new shirts on the online shop. We've just bought a brand new boat. We've just lost a drone, and um, it has been a bloody exciting two days. So I'm just going to leave this video here. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. The adventures are only going to get bigger and better now that we've got this little tub to float around in the ocean in. And... Um, that's it from me. If you guys want to pick up some of these shirts, make sure you smash this button here. Subscribe here if you haven't because footage is just going to get better and better and better with this brand new boat. And um, as always, thank you for watching. Much love and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ah, oh, much love from me and the new tinny. Yeah, doggies. Woo!